This video will make more sense if you first view the Watt 101 video about the One Power. When a channeler or magic user in the world of the Wheel of Time accesses the true source, they act as a sort of conduit or vessel that holds and uses the One Power, channeling it into a type of magic that can be used to accomplish amazing feats. A channeler is like a water wheel that pulls water, or in this case, the One Power, from the river of the true source. Once the channeler has access to the river of the true source, they can fill themselves with the One Power, just as a vessel from a water wheel fills with water. And just as a water vessel is limited by how much water it can hold, so too is there a limit to how much of the One Power a channeler can hold and use unaided. When a channeler does hold the power, they can then channel it or divide it into flows or threads of power. The channeler can then weave the flows together, like a quilt or pattern, to create different magical actions. Think of these flows as streams of power dividing off from the main river of the source. There are five different types of power or flows that can be woven. They are called the five powers. The five powers are earth, fire, water, air, sometimes called wind, and spirit. Another way to picture it is to think of the channeler who taps into the river of the true source as a sort of prism that is filled with light or the one power. When they access the one power, it's like a single beam of pure light, but they are then able to divide and focus that power into five different individual types of power, like separate light frequencies that can be used individually or mixed together for various functions. If, for example, a channeler wanted to create a giant fireball, they would only need to channel the power into a weave of fire. However, some more complex acts of the One Power require the channeler to weave the different threads of the Five Powers together. For example, healing someone who has been injured requires flows of water, air, and spirit to be woven together. By combining the Five Powers, channelers can do remarkable things like healing injuries and illnesses, traveling long distances in the blink of an eye, creating illusions, changing or affecting the weather on a local or global scale, creating objects that can enhance a channeler's ability, creating other objects of great power, and much more. Of course, the One Power can also be used as a weapon or to create weapons for others. The glossary says this about the Five Powers. There are threads to the One Power, and each person who can channel the One Power can usually grasp some threads better than others. Any wielder of the One Power will have a greater degree of strength with one or possibly two of these, and lesser strength in others. Some few may have great strength with three, but since the Age of Legends, no one has had great strength with all five. Even then, this was extremely rare. The degree of strength can vary greatly between individuals, so that some who can channel are much stronger than others. Performing certain acts with the One Power requires ability in one or more of the five powers. While spirit was found equally in men and women, great ability with earth and or fire was found much more often among men, with water and or air among women. There were exceptions, but it was so often so that earth and fire came to be regarded as male powers, air and water as female. Generally, no ability is considered stronger than any other, though there is a saying among Aes Sedai, there is no rock so strong that water and wind cannot wear it away, no fire so fierce that water cannot quench it or wind snuff it out. It should be noted this saying came into use long after the last male Aes Sedai was dead. Any equivalent saying among male Aes Sedai is long lost. Watch my deep dive video all about the One Power to learn more. For more Watt 101 content and other spoiler-free Wheel of Time topics, please consider subscribing and check out the related videos and topics here and in the description.